Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping over. Don't forget to hit that little button down there that says subscribe because guess what? I'm close to 10,000 subscribers and I got a huge giveaway and you could be part of it. You're gonna have to check out that video. If I remember, I'll put a link up above, but check in there and check out that video about 10,000 subscribers. I've got a ton of stuff I'm gonna be giving away to folks. Especially if you're on Instagram and Facebook too and you're, you get those to 1,000 subscribers. Oh, it'll be awesome. But hey, that's not what this is about. This is an episode of the stuff. And I got a jacket to share with you, so let's get going. Okay, well today's video is about this jacket. Now I picked this jacket up from Cabela's uh, right after the second annual Coyote Works Overland Rally. And the reason why I bought the jacket is a fellow that I met there, Steve, gray dodge 08 underscore overlanding, Instagram, check him out. Uh, Steve uh, had this jacket on. And I thought that, yeah, I thought it was really cool. I really liked the way it looked. And it looked kind of warm and we were sitting around a campfire and one of the biggest problems with sitting around a campfire when it's cold and many of you could relate is if you don't have the proper clothing, uh, you get those embers and such. You get an ember to land on your jacket sleeve or on the shoulder of your jacket. Uh, boy, that could not be good. And I actually have a couple of coats that have been uh, burnt little embers that I never knew landed on it, just burnt a little hole in it, and then it's kind of messed up after that. Uh, so when I got to talking to Steve about this jacket, he told me that, yeah, it's made out of wool and something else, and it's really cool, it's warm, um, you know, it keeps kind of the wind down. So I was like, you know, I gotta go get one, I'm gonna check it out. So I jumped online on the way home, found them on Cabela's, so I stopped at Cabela's, so I was driving right past it to get home. And I ran in there and I tried it on and I ended up buying one. Now, what was really nice about this Jack is it's made out of wool and Berber fleece. Now those two components by themselves are really nice, but now that Cabela's had put them together and created this new type of fabric material, it's outstanding. I'm actually really pleased with it. Now I'm gonna say and preface this, I have no ties with Cabela's. They're not, you know, sponsoring me, they don't know I'm doing this video or anything, but like most of my videos, I do them to help you all out if you're looking for something good, a good piece of kit, nice piece of gear, or even some clothing. And it's been a while since I did a jacket review of any sorts, and I still have that other jacket, that, that olive drab green one, I did a video on two, three years ago, I still have it and wear it. It's really nice for water and windbreak, but again, it's not good around a campfire. So getting back to this coat, one of the many things I liked about this is that it was that wool Berber blend and that helped it uh, keep that warmth in and help that water repellency. Now it's not waterproof, but it is water repellent. And uh, Cabela's has this new uh, wicking technology that also helps the wind from uh, penetrating the jacket. Now it's still breathable, which is really cool. I mean, technology nowadays is amazing with all the different types of materials and, and fibers that they get to make, but having that wool Berber fleece allows the heat to retain. But if you're being really active in this coat, the inside of the jacket actually has a little bit of a breathable polyester type material, and it lets you kind of, you know, get that heat out while you can. The other reason why I like this jacket is I didn't want a full zip up. I really like the idea of having the pockets in the front, and I call them kangaroo pockets for lack of a better name or knowledge on my behalf, but I like the idea of putting the pocket up front that you can reach in and you can get your hands in there. Uh, you could put hand warmers in there and such. Uh, if you really wanted to, you can get one of those, uh, those hand muff type things where it's insulated. You could put this in here because that kangaroo pocket on this jacket is quite roomy. Now, what's nice about this jacket too is, uh, I like quarter zip, like sweaters. That's why I ended up getting some when I first started getting into some apparel for CKNA Fin Tool. I have a quarter zip and I really like that. But when you're trying to layer up and you're doing things, sometimes those zippers just aren't big enough. As an under layer, maybe a quarter zip's fine, but as an over layer like this coat, it just doesn't lend itself. And I like the idea of having a wool coat with a hood. And many of you that might be outdoorsmen or into bushcrafting, you know that there's some folks out there that make jackets that have a, uh, um, I hear like a little something jumping around in the side there. Uh, I'm being attacked. Uh, you know, those, they make those jackets out of wool blankets. Well, they're really neat looking. They got a good length to them and stuff like that, and they're gonna be warm, but it's just a solid wool blanket. So it doesn't have any liner on the inside other than just the actual wool itself. I'm actually allergic to wool, so I can't wear a lot of wool, uh, especially if I wear a regular standard wool and it rubs against my skin. 
it irritates me. Merino wool I don't have the problem with. And uh, there's another type of wool, I forgot that, that wool. It's like a Sherp wool or something like that. Um, it's expensive, but I'm not allergic to that one. But a standard wool, it always irritated me. This having that polyester liner was really nice because if I just wanna wear a t-shirt and I wanna throw this over, I have that opportunity. What's also nice is those jackets, they have a lacing system. So the neck isn't very open right here where the jacket's at. It actually is, it's, it's pretty narrow and there's laces across here rather than a zipper. This zipper goes all the way down, it's on me, it goes all the way down to my belly button or just past my belly button. So it's a really long zipper, which allows you plenty of room to be able to slip this thing on and get comfortable. What's also nice is having a zipper like that in a larger space, you can actually vent. You can zip open the jacket and you can vent yourself. So if you are getting overworked and you don't want to start taking off some of the layers you have, you can at least open it up and air yourself out so you can cool down faster. Because you know you don't want to get sweated and overworked, especially in the winter time, in the months that we're in right now. One of the other things that's really nice about this is the hood. Um, a lot of hoods on jackets, you know, they take the fabric and they just kind of stitch it right down the middle. And when you put it on, you got this little tiny point at the back of your head. Uh, and sometimes they're really tight along the brim of your hat. Well, in this case, when you wear this one, it's not. It's actually a really wide, I don't know if it's called, if you'd say gusseted, but it's a really wide hood that tapers around. But it comes down evenly and hugs the bill of your hat. Uh, what's also really nice is instead of a single stitch down the middle, they actually have a piece of fabric in there that's tapered. It's narrower in the back and it opens up a little bit wider in the front. So there's actually a piece to my left, a piece in the center and a piece to my right that comes around. And this gives you a lot more room in the hood. What also allows it to do is stay open like this. So you can at least get some hearing advantages, which I like. I don't like a hood that sits like this too much. You know, I'll do this if I'm super cold, but um, I like it when it's open like this so I can at least hear things and see what's going on. Plus, I don't get a lot of tugging because again, the hood is so wide at the top of my head and going into the back, there's plenty of room to be putting it on and off, especially if you have a bigger stocking cap or something like that. Or some of the guys wear the bunny hats or raccoon hats, you know, the fur hats. There'll be plenty of room to put this over your head to really tuck in and, and buck under. What was really nice about this jacket also is when I went with Lolo Overland and Forbidden Off Road on that little trip down to Mount Hood, I had uh, winter uh, gloves that come down past your cuffs. They actually came down to about right here. And what's nice is the cuffs on this jacket are triple stitched. As you'll see here, there's actually three stitching spots and each one's about three eighths of an inch or a half inch wide. And what it does is it creates a nice wide cuff. So when I put that glove or that mid on, I didn't have a whole bunch of bunched up material fabric for my jacket in the wrist of my, my glove that slipped over and the glove was able to come across. So basically, your sleeve is more tapered to fit inside a, a glove or a mitten. And I kind of like that, especially when it came to hunting or ice fishing, and you just want to start layering up, and that would be a really good advantage. They don't just make this uh, zipper, I would like to say maybe a two-thirds zipper, this jacket, this pullover jacket. They actually make a full zip jacket, and they had a, a vest, they had mittens, they had a stocking cap, and they even have pants in the same type of fabric. Now what I liked about the look of the jacket is it wasn't, it, it wasn't a camouflage that was in your face. It was, it's kind of a nice, really soft, subdued type camouflage. Nothing that really speaks like tactical Tina or you know I'm trying to be some Rambo or something like that, okay? I don't want that. I'm not gonna wear my old woodland camouflage clothing out in the woods to go on a camping adventure or something like that. I, I wanted something that had that camouflage look or just something different. And I liked it, I just thought it was really cool. One of the things I like about the jacket, and I'll touch on a lot of them because, I'm, I mean, it, I was actually rather impressed with this, is not only is the lining this, a nice smooth lining and everything, but um, really comfortable and silent. They had this, this, the Berber fleece and the wool mix creates a really good, uh, I think they call it the silent technology or something. So you're not gonna get that swooshing sound when your arms move around and such. So if you are trying to be more of like a sneaky Pete and you're hunting or something like that, it's nice. You know, granted, I don't like that. I get annoyed sometimes that every little thing I do, I get that zzz, zzz, zzz type stuff, you know what I'm talking about? That zzz, zzz, zzz. I don't like that. And that's what's nice about that wool Berber fleece mix is because it's it's really silent. Now the, um, the cords here, the, uh, sh the little, um, uh, hood cords, the hoodie cords here. They're really nice. They're, they're just a standard. They're nothing really fancy. They're not a, 
a paracord, 550 cord type stuff or anything, just a standard um, uh, cord. So when you put the hood over your head and you zip up all the way, you can really, you can cinch this thing down pretty good. So that works out nice. The jacket's quite roomy. As you can see, I'm wearing an actual, I'm wearing one of these down jackets and they're compressible. And I got a t-shirt underneath that and that's it. But when I was at the, uh, um, the, the little uh, get together with uh, uh, Lola Overland and Forbidden Off Road, I actually ended up that one day, I think it was Saturday afternoon, it started snowing and it got so cold. I ended up with uh, a base layer, a t-shirt, a, a, a thermal long sleeve over that. And then I had this jacket, this this Gary here, that I got from Costco. And then I had this and I was I had my schmog wrapped around my neck and it was getting cold. I mean, but my body, my core was fine. I had a little wool beanie on, a, a, wool, a merino wool kind of beanie. And uh, I was good to go, uh, but all I had was a long underwear bottom underneath my jeans, a thin one. So uh, standing around and walking around all day, the cold did start to get through the boots a little bit because all I had is a thin pair of wool socks in my uh, Keens. Um, but in my hands, you know, but having the uh, kangaroo pocket kind of helped. But I gotta say my core didn't feel a thing. I was really nice and comfortable, but I did have to go to that fire every now and then kind of warm up, you know, get the hands on there. Now, one of the things also, let me show you guys. One of the also things is, is the zipper. A lot of guys, they want to be, uh, um, uh, they're very particular about their zippers and I, I don't blame you, I am too. This is a YKK zipper. Uh, now, if I get it in there, you can see, it just has this little kind of like polyester type little dangler thingy here to grab that that's fine I, I it's okay but if you want you could probably always put a piece of paracord on there or something but uh, the zipper's nice now you notice it, it it slides good but it's not pulling so if you got some stress the zipper's not going to slide down like that you see you see how it's doing that so sometimes you get those cheap zippers and you go to zip up and then as your jacket you move around or you do something with your jacket as the as the two parts pull this zipper will slide down and I don't like that, and that's the telltale sign of a cheap zipper. And uh, so I'm happy to see that they did YKK in these. Um, oh yeah, one other thing too, uh, at the bottom of the jacket, this is a really good bonus. So the jacket is not just shaped flat, meaning from front to back. If this is the front of you, this is my front and that's my back, okay? The jacket doesn't go straight down and cut flat. What it does is it actually tapers slightly to the back, to your back and to your butt. And what's really cool about that is having a little bit of a tail at the bottom of this jacket. When you go to reach over, if you're sitting down at camp, the jacket's not hiking up too high where you're gonna get that draft up your back. Now the coat is a little bit longer. It's not waist length. It's probably about five inches longer than my waist. So as my waist is right now, the jacket's about five inches or so longer than that, which is also good. But the key thing is, is they ended up putting little tiny shock cord at the bottom of this jacket with two little, uh, um, I guess, pulls, those little spring uh, barreled tube type things. You squeeze it and you can pull the paracord, let go of it and it locks it in place. That allows you to really cinch this jacket up tight. So what you can do is you can actually tighten those as much as you want. And then you can take that tightened part and tuck it up underneath you and kind of blouse your jacket in a way. So then it is tight around your waist, but your jacket hangs down a little bit. And that's really good for keeping that heat retained into your body. And I think it would work really good in co combination with the matching pants that they do offer. So lastly, guys, I think, again, I don't have a, uh, I don't have a dog in a race here. You know, I'm not gaining anything by letting you know about this jacket other than satisfaction of letting some of you know that if you're looking for something like this, this fall and this winter, you might want to take a look at this jacket a little bit further. It wasn't that expensive in regards to what it's offering me. I think it was around 130 to 140 dollars at Cabela's. Yes, of course it's Cabela's, but Cabela's is the only one that's making this that I know because it's actually labeled Cabela's. Uh, of course, there's companies that make things and then they brand them to other people, but I have not found this jacket outside of a Cabela store. Matter of fact, Cabela owns Bass Pro, and Bass Pro doesn't even sell the jacket. So. Um, I'll leave the link again down below uh, where you can find this. It'll take a little bit of time to try to find it because um, when I looked for the jacket, all I found was a vest. It was kind of hard to find. But once I clicked on the tab for the vest, it showed me related materials, related topics, and uh, uh, related items, I should say. And that's where I found the jacket. And then I found out they had pants. Once I went to Cabela's, I found out they had a hat, they had mittens, they had a vest, they had a full zip jacket, they had this pullover zipper jacket, and they had the pants. So that was pretty neat. Uh, so again, all that stuff will be down below. But thank you everybody for all the support. Thank you for all the likes and the shares and everything. Uh, you guys have been working hard and it's been, it, 
it hasn't been gone it hasn't gone unnoticed and keeping me from the bottom of the YouTube bucket and I'm coming up on that 10,000 subscribers so you might want to check out that video and kind of see all the things that I'll be giving away and I think I got a few more things coming too at the making of this video so uh, again I do appreciate it and we'll just catch you on the next video so you take it easy